Okay, Scorpio, Scorpio, what do we have for you? All right. Resonance, joy. Okay, I, I don't know why, but I feel like this is almost, I don't know, it's like so joyful that I could cry, so sorrowful that I could laugh, like both, both energies are coming out, so joyful that I could cry, so sorrowful that I could laugh. And I just, I feel like, Scorpio, it's like, I don't know. I think you're going to be, this, this, this week is going to be testing your boundaries in a lot of way. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you would think to go through my reinforced area of my boundaries, you know, like, oh my gosh, how, how silly, you know, how funny of you, uh, you know, like, just, like, laugh at, laugh at the, laugh at the darkness, like, that's what I'm hearing, laugh at the darkness, laugh at the hardships, laugh at the breaches, laugh at the irony of it all. And, I mean, revel in your ability to create and live your own joy. And laugh at how you can be so protected and so open at the same time. You know, like, laugh at the irony of it all. Are you using that word right? <laughs> but, yeah. Um, and... Look for the resonance of joy this week and just kind of be joyful no matter what's happening. Like, be your own sunflower. Be your own sunshine. Laugh at the good times and the bad. All right, Scorpio. I just, I feel like telling you... <sighs> You are going to see how some lack of understanding in your boundaries does in fact affect you and your health or your daily life, your ability to do what you want to do daily. And that highlighting of the boundary and the boundary breach is showing you how important your boundaries are to you. And align yourself with the resonance of joy and you will find the answers that you need to be able to overcome this. This is a day, this is a week of observation. It's not a week of doing really. So observe, go with your gut, and not your mind, and you'll get through this. Because it's like, there's no logical reason for you to be happy and joyful and to find the resonance of joy, but that doesn't even matter. You can be happy any the flunk way. You can enjoy it any the flunk way. It doesn't have to be logical. So... That's what I'm getting for you this week, Scorpio. I hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, I pray that Mother, Father, God, and Goddess continue to bless you immensely with unconditional love.